This is by far the best drill slash feeling to get efficient speed in your golf swing. Just look at me here, right? Imagine this was a disc in disc golf. You, if you wanted to throw this as far as you could, you'd work lower, upper, and more importantly, I want you to look what my wrist is doing here. You would make that action, just like that, naturally. And that's why it becomes more efficient. There's no way on earth, if I wanted to throw, I know this is my lovely special edition Lab Golf Putter head cover, which by the way, I'm still in awe of from the open. If I was to throw this, which I'm not going to, as far as I can, there's no way I'd throw it out of my body, pull my arm in and create left to right spin. Everything about it would be through here. Now I've got a three step process that any golfer can follow just to become more efficient. Now I'm super excited to get into this drill today, but remember this channel is powered by you, the viewers, and you've got two options. Subscribe, turn the bell. You can either pop your comment down below, anything you want me to cover here on the channel to help you play better, but also you could also send your swings to this email right here. Just send me a swing from down the line and face on and a little bit of blurb about your game and I can't wait to feature it here on the channel as a swing analysis lesson. So the first bit I want you to get from this is stage one of three. It's just a realization of what actually is happening. I want you to be aware of like 40% of your body and then sort of 60% of what the wrist is doing. So at stage one, imagine I was at the top of the backswing here. It's the realization that your wrist works down and flings it out. I just want you to make eight to 10 reps where you go back. Imagine you're gonna fling it away. Back fling it away. You'll start to move the body accordingly in a much more efficient way. You'll get that side bend you've been searching for, you'll get the hips open that you've been searching for, and this is the natural way to get efficient. So stage one, just simply grab your head cover, or if you do have a disc and you can throw it, I mean, that would be a great scenario. So stage one, just feel that out the back of the hand, that, like you were throwing a disc, okay? I've seen so many videos on this. Right. Stage two, you actually don't need a golf ball for this. I'm gonna leave that golf ball teed up, but I'm gonna put another tee in the ground, just like that there, okay? What I want it to be is, I want you to have a purpose. I want you to hit towards the tee peg, not just make a swing. So at stage two, I want you to make some one-handed swing. We're not doing this fast. We need to make sure we're getting this right, and it will all come together at the end. So watch me here, right? I'm gonna address, I've got driver. You could do this with seven iron. Just make sure you've got seven iron ball position, but I'm gonna grab my driver. I'm going back and I'm feeling, oof, I'm throwing that disc out the back of my hand. Throwing that disc out the back of my hand. Look, I hit the T-peg. Put the T-peg back in and have a look at this one right now in slow-mo. You can really see from face on and down the line, I'm making the exact same motion with my body as if I was throwing a disc and disc golf. You can see my wrist, you can see my body. Okay, you've seen that slow-mo with me doing it with the golf club. Now look at the similarities from face on to me throwing the disc, my head cover, and my face on move one-handed with my driver. Again, can you see the similarities, how efficient I'm moving my body and my wrist? That is stage two. I definitely should have also said this, right? The reason why I know everybody can generate more speed is you're starting to move the club head on a wider arc away from you. So naturally it just becomes more efficient. So stage three of three now, this is where it all starts to come together. You've got to do it this way though. So imagine you had five gears in your car, gear one being the slowest, gear five being your fastest. I want your new realization to be that any swing you make with driver, with seven iron, hybrid, whatever it is, it's all done in gear three. Because I want you to be really aware of th throwing the disc, but doing it in a way you can feel the awareness. So gear three really gives you that chance of doing it. Now, I'm gonna hit this one away. This is my gear three. I reckon this, well, let's just show you how far it goes. Look at this. I'm really gonna focus on that disc move with the wrist but also allowing the body to adapt to it too. Gear three, disc golf. <laughs> and it drew, and it drew. 
I can't wait to see the distance on this. Now that was gear three. This is crazy. Have a look at this right here. This is what we're dealing with. A 200, this is crazy. Have a look at this right here. This is what we're dealing with. A 274 yard total. If we can take that every time with a tight draw down the fairway, that's how we become way more efficient and enjoy our golf. So for those three stages, use this golf and I can assure you moving your wrist in this direction not out and flicky. You're going to become way more efficient. Thanks for watching.